With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is: A projectile is fired with speed u at an angle theta above the horizontal field. The coefficient of restitution of collision between the projectile and the field is e. How far from the starting point does the projectile make its second collision with its field? Okay. So in this question, we are going to discuss about the projectile motion. Okay, so we are going to discuss about the projectile motion. We know the formula for range is u square sine two theta by g. Okay, and we also know this comes from the formula two u x u y two u x u y upon g. Okay, so this is where the formula comes from. Now, one more thing to keep in mind before proceeding the question that there will be change in velocity due to collision only in y direction. Okay, so given that coefficient of restitution is e we can find that velocity in x direction will remain u cos theta but velocity in y direction can be taken out from the formula e equals final upon initial velocity final upon initial velocity we know e into initial velocity is u sin theta and this will come out to be our final velocity let's say v okay so now for range we know so this is the range of the first collision because it is let's say this is r1 so this is r1 because velocity is u angle from the ground is theta and everything else is same so therefore projectile this is r1 and let's say this is r2 now for r2 velocity has changed we will, we will use this formula and we will get 2ux the velocity in x direction is same u cos theta u cos theta into uy that is eu sin theta eu sin theta velocity in y direction upon g so this comes out to be u square e sin 2 theta upon g so this is what r2 r2 is this now total range total range or the point of second collision from the starting point will be r1 plus r2 r1 is e u square sine 2 theta by g u square sine 2 theta by g and r2 is u square e sine 2 theta by g. So, r1 plus r2 will be u square sine 2 theta 1 plus e upon g. So, this is the final solution. Okay. So, from the starting point at a distance of u square sine 2 theta 1 plus e upon g, the projectile will make its second collision. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.